Hello everybody, so today I want to show you how to create this cool looking animation in Blender using weight paint proximity modifier. So let's get going. So this is the scene. This is again a very uh, simple scene. Uh, we have here this wooden branch and ropes and uh, some cameras and lights. And yeah, let's begin from let's begin with uh, the branch i imported this branch uh this wooden branch from quixel megascans i always talk about in my videos about quixel megascans because it is just a great source to get your um i mean everything 3d assets textures brushes and everything is in very high quality so uh, you can choose up to 8k textures in this case, I chose to work with a high poly branch just because it is better looking and this scene is relatively simple. So I, I mean, my PC can handle it. And this is the wooden branch. I have here also um, some ropes that I modeled using curves and particle system for the hair. And yeah, this is um, the 3D asset in this, uh, in this scene. Uh, apart from uh, these uh, flowers and grass over here that I will talk about later in this video. As for the lighting, what I used is uh, this setup right here. So in this uh, world properties, I just uh, changed the color of the background to black and then I just added some lights. So I have here this rectangle light here um, let's see in the light collection yeah so i have this area light here so let's turn on cycles for a minute yeah you know what let's turn off the scatter assets just so you can see uh, and also let's turn off the particle system one and the second particle system for the second rope so yeah now we're dealing with a much lighter scene so yeah we have here this light this area light let's turn you know what let's turn off all of the lights so it's pitch black so let's start from this first light this uh area light over here on top uh this is just you know I'm basically my main light uh, from above and then we have this uh, fill light from from the bottom this one this large one so that you can see the whole uh, silhouette of the branch and what else we have here we have oh this is for this is for later like this is this will illuminate the um, foliage and move along alongside and with the foliage in the animation so this is that okay so those are the lights and as for the cameras um because this is an animation video i wanted to create um multiple shots so that i can combine all of the shots all of the cameras later in premiere so I just added some, some cameras all around the branch. Now for the main subject of this video, how to create this uh, cool looking uh, animated foliage or grass flowers. Essentially everything you want to um, work with this uh, kind of effect, you can choose any object you want. So let me just open a new blender file and then I show you on some simple object how it's done. Yeah, so let's create a uh, icosphere with um, level 4 subdivision. Let's shade it smooth and also let's create a cube and move it up just like this, scale it on the z-axis just like that apply the scale and let's go to the um, viewport display settings and choose wire so so that we don't see 
with Q. Now go to your icosphere, go to edit mode. Um, if it is not selected, just press A and select all the vertices. And you can go to this uh, data properties and click this plus uh, button over here, or you can uh, click on control G on your keyboard and then assign to new group. Now you have vertex group assigned to this whole mesh. Right now, what you want to do is you want to select the icosphere or you know any 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 mesh that you want to work with. Select the mesh, go to the modifier tab, add modifier, and then choose vertex width proximity. And then select your vertex group you just created. Uh, and then as target object, select your cube. Now in, in the proximity mode, um, switch from object to geometry. And at the geometry um, section, change from vertex to face. And now let's see, take your cube down a bit so that it will intersect with uh, your mesh, in my case with my icosphere. Then select again the icosphere and go to from object mode, go to wet paint. You can also click on your keyboard, alt tab, and then you can hit seven. And yeah, you are in wet paint mode. So now you can control the settings and the strength of your um, of your weight basically so here in the lowest settings you can you know change the strength like this and then in the highest you can again control however you like so in my case I want it to be something like this and then Let's say, I mean, something like that, yeah. And now, let's animate this really quick. Control tab, four, and we're back to object mode. And then take your cube up a bit, something like this. Let's, let's bring up the timeline over here. Let's close that one and press N and close that one as well. Let's keep it on 250 for now while my, my cube is selected and I am on the first frame. Press I and choose location and then choose, say, I don't know, 100, 160 uh, frame 160 and then move your cube down all the way down and again. I location now we have this cube animated let's press spacebar and it is animated so yeah let's just hover your mouse in this section over here in the timeline press T and choose linear so you get this um, constant move of the cube and now let's click on the icosphere Control tab 7 so that we can go to uh, weight paint mode and play uh, around the animation. So look what happened. The cube just controlled the weight painting of the icosphere. So this is exactly what we, what we wanted. So again, you can still control the um, weight paint settings over here just by changing the values in the lowest and highest and yeah this is basically how uh how i applied this effect on my branch let's just go back to my scene so yeah uh back in in this uh scene let's open up geoscatter so what i did here is i chose my uh, wood branch as my emitter and then i chose some uh some biomes like i did uh 
I always loved working with Megapie and with this case I, I chose I chose that one that biome over here with this beautiful uh, red and white flowers so I chose this biome and then what you want to do is you want to go to this section here group cooling mask and choose vertex group and what this does is let let me just turn on this over here yeah so what this is doing is just choosing vertex group and apply the foliage according to this vertex group so let's turn off this again and i want to just show you the vertex group like again control tab seven and as you can see i created here a cube and this is this cube controls the this effect this weight paint effect and again this wooden branch it has this modifier here vertex sweat proximity with just as you saw before geometry face um uh, i added here also fall off you don't have to do it but uh, you know i just uh, this is my own preference so this cube controls the spreading of the foliage and the the behavior of the um weight paint modifier so let's turn off this cube and turn on this collection over here so what i did i i have animated this cube to um, start floating around this branch from here from this direction all the way to to here and this is basically looking like this so in the first frame my cube is over here and then let's just run really quick the animation so this cube is floating around all the way from left to right like this yeah and it controls the weight paint modifier so choose vertex group choose your uh your mesh vertex uh paint vertex group and all the other stuff you know you can play around with scale you can play around with essentially whatever you want you know like if i open up this biome i have your bunch of um uh, everything like flowers grass um meadow clovers dead grass you know a whole a whole biome basically so you can play around with everything rotation scale whatever you want in this case this biome is already you know comes ready and ready to go from the start but if you want to scatter your own object you can just play around in geo scatter however you like so yeah this is basically this one right here this uh vertex group uh mask is basically the most the single most important thing in this whole tutorial because this setting is helping you control this uh, movement of of scattered object and you can also invert the effect like you can choose to do like this where the weight paint is inverted but i chose to go like this because i don't know looking better some additional stuff that i want you to pay attention and not forget about is uh, don't forget to turn off this cube because right now you can see some shadow on top of these uh, flowers so this is the cube this is the cube shadow so if i turn this if i hide it make sure you hide it both from the viewport uh, and the uh, final render so again if i unhide it you can see the shadow and just make sure you hide the cube so that you don't see any shadows and another thing regarding the light so 
as you can as you remember from the start of this tutorial i talked about this small area light over here so what i did is i parented this light to my cube and let's turn on again the cube yeah so i parented this light to the cube so wherever the cube goes this light goes as well so i just wanted to add some artistic vibe to the scene and i wanted my foliage my uh, flowers to be to be lit from the back so i just parented this light to the cube and wherever the cube i mean wherever the foliage goes uh they are followed by this cool uh back lighting and again let's turn off the cube and yeah so yeah as always have fun with your um project good luck with uh, the attempt doing it and make sure you like the video subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thank you